We're lots of turns doing nothing. I don't like it. I don't like it, guys. We need to get some action. We need to do some shit. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> Sparta, please. You know well. You know well not to do this. Sparta. Poor Sparta. How the mighty have fought. Tylus are back again. God damn it! <sighs> Stupid raiders. Hidden agent exposed. Political intrigue. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Which army is this? Which army? Oh, Legia 1 Italica. This is the, the, the big army. In, in, in Greece. So. Can we, like. Can we not do that, please? I want to see their things. Can we. How am I supposed to see their. Oh, let's just click on the star here. Public order from... Uh, minus 10 religious building construction. Minus 20 public order penalties due to local presence of foreign culture. Holy crap, get in. Alright, this lady is going to move up to Larissa and be like, Yo, what's up? Oh, hello. Hello, children of Zeus. Welcome. Children of Zeus. Alright, so this army... Okay, can you yeah, can you do this? And let's get in here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Some subsistence. There's good subsistence in this shit, man. Pretty good, pretty good. Diamond. Coin maker. Plus five percent wealth from manufacturing. Interesting. Two hundred wealth. And then plus 5% wealth? I don't... I guess to the region. Region bonus. Um, what's going on up here? Yeah, this army is pretty freaking stacked. Like, it does not get more stacked at the moment. So this is... this. These guys are like, okay, we've got all the men. We're ready to go. Just send us in and we'll be amazing. So let's build the diamonds everywhere we can, please. This diamond thing. Where's the diamond thing? The diamond thing, please. Yeah, the diamonds. I like the diamonds! We're gonna take a small break while I go pee. I'll be right back. I tell you guys, that toilet got conquered. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. I don't prefer toilet to my to my fans, man. I just gotta go when you gotta go, you know. Wait, who got destroyed? Iravisci. Who? Wait, were those the guys who wanted to? Yeah. Shit. Trivali have taken them over. They have one state too. Okay. So Tylus needs to like remove itself from my lands. Stop doing that. Um, let's see if this little spy can be any good. Okay, it's terrible chances at assassinating. Maybe we can get her some military saboteurs. 43%. Let's see if she's as good as Postimia. Apparently not. Because Postumia was legendary. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Achilles, which edict did you issue in your bathroom? Which edict did you erect? <laughs> you bastards! I think we're ready to go and attack them. The issue is, if we attack... Uh, if we attack Larissa, there are all these Athenian armies that are almost definitely just to come right down and attack us. Um, that's why I need this army to at least be around. Or maybe the answer is move this army. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to move this army into here. Yeah, I'm going to declare war on Athens right now. And then this guy can go up here. Good. That's good. So let's go. Declare war. Kill them. Easy win. Right? Easy win. Occupy it. Priest in rank. Imperium. This guy sits in Pella. Uh, and now we spend some money on converting Larissa into a horse trainer city. Right. Mm. Uh, I don't need this here. Yeah, I, I, we, we said that we're not gonna we're not gonna make use of their auxiliaries. Now, if this army decides to get fishy anywhere, we can kind of respond. Uh, this navy is moving around kind of dangerously. It might attack one of our towns, at which point we're going to be very sad. This is Total War Horse Trading Simulator. Get the tax percent edict in on Rome. Hmm. Which one is it? Yeah. Smart. Good call. God damn it. See, Vlig, right now, Vlig is owning. Okay? Good advice. That's what I need you guys to be doing. The Senate must carry Rome. I am only the first citizen. I am no emperor, my brothers. Well, you see, I am just the first citizen. Okay. I think that's going to wrap up this turn. Decimus Pelastrius Doruso. Uh, it's the guy that took Larissa from the Ath Athenians. The Legion is really strong with him, this one. And he's 16 years old. 16 year old general fighting Rome for Rome. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Let's see what we can get for this guy. Plus five melee attack skill for all units during battles against Hellenic factions. Well, that's going to run out pretty soon. Plus five percent armor. Plus five percent cavalry morale. Morale for infantry units might be good. Missile infantry. What can we get for this guy? That's good. Just evading enemy agents. Authority. Public order for military presence. Morale for units. So th he's got plus four owning factions cultural influence. So he's already like heading down the cultural thing with his authority. Mm. Authority when leading an army. Well, he's always leading an army. Oh, that's instant. Okay, that's good. Minus 10 resistance to foreign occupation. Pl oh, yeah, this guy's going to be a great general. Let's get let's get a commander thing for him. He's going to be a great general for Rome. Owning a Greek edicts. Well, when you evolve to the next empire level, you got a new edict. Ah. You see, these are the little things that I don't know. And there's lots of little things that I don't know. <laughs> Never really was I a campaign guy. So we should be braced to fight four Spartan hoplites at three ranks. These are going to be deadly. We definitely need two armies to take care of them. We should not underestimate the Spartans. They're very strong. They have a legendary re reputation. So we will not underestimate them. As all the gods look down on us, they Defensive alliance the with Macedon. Mm-hmm. 
I'm gonna say okay but you're gonna have to give me some serious dough they're gonna say no but I'm just gonna lay it straight for Macedon I'd rather have you subjugated my Macedonian friends than be my allies Felix says GD you should also probably take a look at your family thingy promote some of the commanders from your family to give them bonuses and increase your overall faction control I think every stream session we're gonna do this thing called console of the day and then like oh no no this guy was doing such a good job finish a setter uh, the men of the men and women of Rome the subterfuge carriers of Rome Ooh, we got upgrades here hold on hold on hold on upgrade Oh, they get the little horse armor thingy. Because we got the horse trader thingy. So we've got a temple, we've got a green building, we've got an industry building, we've got a food building. Just give me cavalry, well, from livestock. Livestock. A villa? I think we can go down two different routes with the meeting place. And since this is kind of sitting I don't know yeah and it does give me commerce so this is good all right Ooh, hello Sparta Sporta so let's try to slow them please this time or like stop them come on do some work lady there you go following in the ranks of the great Postimia get your cunning up lady she's 45 already and pretty bad Alliance with Mazdan is probably a great thing, says Vilig. Well, I can offer it to them any time. Like, they have one territory. I want to capture Tripoli and capture Mazdan and subjugate both of them. Know what I'm saying? Is that a bad call? What do you think? Let me know. Okay, so this this army still can attack here, and it's it's pretty strong. Um, we're also at war with Athens, which is really just like scrambling to get back. It might be nice to actually get, you know what, I think Vila got it right. If we can get Macedon on our side, let's do this. I let's go defensive alliance. As it undoubtedly is. Uh, and is where's the join war? I guess this means that they fight Athens anyway, right? Mm -hmm. Or wait, I have a question. If I'm at war with Sparta and Athens now, and I go defensive alliance with Macedon, will they... Will they... Um, will they enter the war, or do I have to do a military alliance for that? Or is it defensive alliance, oh, when someone declares war on you, I'll join that war? I'll leave the chat to specify that for me while I manage some scenes. So this army moved in a bit deep. It got slowed. Uh, I would... Actually, I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna double time this dude. And then double time this dude. Get this dude there. Get this dude here. Move this dude there. And then get this dude there. The pinza is ready. Oh, no shit. Was that a mistake? No, they can't make it this turn. There's no way any Athenian army can get to Larissa in one turn. It's just impossible, physically. He says, Mastodon is already at war with Sparta and Athens. Yeah, that's a... Uh, like, is, are they? Oh, yeah. They are at war with both of them. I guess one ally and one subjugated state is not bad. That's why they love us, indeed, indeed, indeed. All right, military alliance. They rejected it. Okay, military alliance. Let's pay them for money. Boop, boop. 
Come on, you sons of bitches. It's Rome! The substance of your offer is sadly lacking. We cannot agree. Okay, I'm gonna pay them a little bit more, and if they say no, fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Even though we kind of put them down a little bit earlier, but hey, what you gonna do about that? Let's take a look at other places. Uh, Brundisium is ready for an upgrade. Rome can even become... Oof, holy mother of... Are you kidding me? Look at how much money they'll start making. Rome will become insane. Insane. What's Velathri making for us? 470. They could use it. Yeah, let's get Velathri up. Let's get Genoa up as well. I want to really build up the, the wealth... Just to be able to expand rapidly. These dudes are in trouble. Because they really can't get out of our range this turn. Uh, maybe a defensive alliance is... I really can't attack with the city? Come on. That's retarded. Okay, Apollonia. Let's get them as well. Good. Get a defensive alliance for now and maybe a full one later. I think they'll say no to that as well, but let's see. I give you welcome. Hey! Damn, Velig. Velig knows this game, guys. Commodore says, defensive alliance, somebody declares war on you. Good. Conquer, not subjugate, says Commodore. The reason I wanted to subjugate them is to not have to worry about things coming in from the side. Because if I, if I go into a defensive alliance with Macedon now... And I take this thing, I'll never be able to take Thrace. Because Macedon has most of Thrace, you see? I, I don't know, maybe I'm missing something. Alright, this is going to be now Sparta's critical moment. This is when Sparta can do something fishy, or maybe even Athens can double, double, you know, double up and try to recapture Larissa. Let's see what happens. No brains, Mediac, or Mediac. I'm not sure how to say your name, buddy. But he says, "Damn it, Felix, you're not helping." Okay, so Athens is consolidating all of its forces. Sparta is moving up another army up here, and look at this. There's a Spartan navy about to land in Patavium. That's actually the best place they probably could have landed, because we have a huge army in the north. Research complete. Let's just keep it up with the whole agricultural boost, because that's actually helping us out. Like, we can feel the money increasing. Alright, let's take a look at what's happening. So this spy... So, oh, the Spartans have barricaded themselves in. Let's try to poison their provisions again. Oh, yes! She's quickly becoming another Postumia. Let's see, let's get her some more cunning... Yeah, good. Good. Ooh, look at this. She's brought this Spartan Hoplite unit so far down. So good. So good. Okay, so there are no... Yeah, so this one is in double, and sh they can't get here. So I think this army is now safe to push this back. And then can prob oh yeah can probably double time into wait can do it without double timing. Yeah, can do it. Can just go into Larissa, nice and safe. Uh, this is where we're gonna build the gladiator school. For sure, for sure, heads down, no question about it. And Pella, we're gonna have those Greek boys fight each other in in in, bat in the battlefield. Alright, this is now going to be probably the battle that ends this stream session, but before we do that, let's take a quick look at everything around here and see what's happening. Achilles says, Velik is my hero, heart, heart. Where is that? There was a Spartan army that sailed into the Tabium. Yeah, here it is. Well, we're just going to move this guy here and be like, hey... Good of you to stop by. 
We're gonna have a food shortage in a bit, I feel. I think we are. Okay, so... Let's get these closer. And yeah, we're getting um, we're getting reinforcements. Let's upgrade these two dudes. Do I have any upgrades here? Look at this army. Look at our legio. The first legion. Look at them. Just absolutely beautiful. Look at all these stats. The principes. Just glorious. I just love to min-max things. Especially civil engineering. <laughs> okay. Uh, this army here at Larissa is probably a little bit too small for my liking. Um, these Athenians can just come in and attack us, but I don't think they're in a position to do so. They're out of food. They're probably losing men to attrition. And I think Sparta actually might be completely empty. If we had another army here, we would swing around. This dude... Oh, wow. Did I have him off of this? Damn it. I think we're losing culture here. No, we're gaining culture. Okay, no problem. We're gaining culture in Ieder, Illyria. I think we're gaining culture pretty much universally everywhere. Yeah, we're gaining culture everywhere. Our influence is spreading even further. And now, guys. This army can't move at all. Bilig is my master slaver. He provides the eunuchs. I love him. Okay, guys. The last decision for this episode is... How do we deal with this Spartan army the best way possible? They are barricaded, and the Spartans are famous for holding, you know... Holding barricaded positions well. Do we sandwich them? They have a good amount of slingers, so they do have the range advantage. They have some calf, so they might be able to rush out and hit our skirmishers. But we definitely have an advantage in skirmishers, and we definitely have calf to be able to counter their calf. But it's definitely going to be hard to take a frontal assault against these pikemen. What do you guys think? What's the best way to do this? Do we just go in? Just go in and, like, wreck them. Wreck Sparta for one last time. We've destroyed them in Apollonia several times. This could be just another one of them. Alternatively, if we lose this battle, it'll be the, probably the That's biggest the loss of for Rome since this campaign started. What do we think, guys? What would we do? Hmm. Let's see here. Stark Lord says, attack! Come forth! Be an inner Shia. Just do it. Who's, who's Shia? Hello, Wizgsla. Wizgsla. 69. I have a question. What's your question? Yep, kill him. Let's go. Let's do it. Do we really need to fight this? Do we really? Hello, Exden, thank you. Do, do we really need to fight this? Shia LaBeouf, oh. <laughs> uh, I think this will be a waste of our time to fight this, to be honest. Come on, do you really want to do this? I mean, it's not... We've got more than 5,000 men fighting 1,500 Spartans. Do you really want us to do this? Do you really want me to manual this? Do you really want to see that slaughter? Are you that demented, fellow Romans? Do you seek blood that much? 